I'm here at the new Crower Library at the grand opening. We're curious George seems to be making an appearance. Yes, that's right. Tune in later and you'll find out more. <laughs> Books. That's what you'll find here at the grand opening of the new Crowell Public Library here in San Marino. But how's the public responding to this new facility? What's been improved from the old facility? The Crowell Public Library has so many features, I don't know where to start. We have a new community meeting room that seats 80 with all the latest audio-visual computer hookups that uh, will allow for computer presentation and laptop presentations and all of those sort of things. We have a uh, smaller conference room for meetings. We have a computer lab for classes and for workshops. We have a homework center designed to attract our students to uh, get together and do their homework in there, and we'll even let them talk a little bit louder in the homework center. Well, the Crow Library has been completely redesigned, offering more space and resources. We have a young adult corner, and the whole main section of the library is divided into the adult uh, area and the children's area, so there's lots of room for everyone to spread out with fabulous, comfortable chairs everywhere. Located in the middle of the city, conveniently to the public, it also offers a social environment. Uh, their neighbors can meet here. Um, we're going to have a coffee cart out there. It's just going to be a great place to socialize. So I think this is it's in the heart of the community, and everybody's going to enjoy it tremendously. The library has wonderful features, but is it safe? Now, how's the safety of the area itself? Is it is it good? Yeah, I think it's very good. It's out on a major boulevard, so there's uh, you know visibility. You don't have to go in some back alley to get here. Uh, the library is very open. I don't know if you were up in the Thornton room, but you can look out and see the whole library from everywhere, so there's good visibility. Very nice, very colorful, well lit. The community of San Marino has put a lot into this project, but the Crowell family has contributed a lot and moved the project forward. And how do you feel about contributing to this library? I feel very, very good about it. My husband and I wanted to do something of lasting value to the community and um, we talked about the library and we always thought we had more time to talk about it but we didn't have to he didn't have time and so uh, i have done this in his memory and uh, he wanted to leave his mark in san marino and a legacy which is why the third generation of curls cut the ribbon today and how do you guys feel about contributing to this well it's really quite this is just a huge establishment. It's just huge. I just that it can um, help people um, learn and have good times reading and uh, other stuff. As the project came to an end, the city found itself preparing with great haste. Well, it's kind of like Extreme Makeover, you know, the, the show where, you know, the family was coming and, uh, you know, we needed to get the, the home all ready and, uh, so a lot of little detail things, a lot of vacuuming, uh, a lot of uh, window cleaning. Uh, it was just a lot of last minute details, but uh, boy, it's exciting to see everybody enjoying it. As people walk into this new library, they, they are stunned to see the fascinating new design and the layout of the, uh, the whole facility itself. Uh, how do you uh, feel about this new library? The library is beautiful. It's taken 11 years for uh, the city to be able to get it and get the fundraising for it. And uh, they did a lot of due diligence for this to be a reality. I know that uh, the project was extended for a few years because they tried to get some state money. They were unsuccessful in doing that uh, due to some of the regulations that the state had on the money. But I give a lot of credit to this community that stepped forward with their support and then also with their checkbooks to uh, make this a reality. It's a beautiful, beautiful facility and it's going to serve a lot of different needs other than just storing books or place to read books or use a computer. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's cool. It's, a, it's an ice. <laughs> Say yay, library! Library <laughs> hot dog! Um, we've been waiting a really long time for it to open and we're really excited that we're going to have some place to come and do research and hang out with our friends and stuff. It's cool. Well, this is fabulous today. There's a bunch of people here and uh, the library just came out great. I'm a resident and um, everything came out great. The Crowell Library has really grabbed the community's attention and given them something wonderful. Wonderful, as you could see, it's truly an amazing establishment and you could see in their eyes that it is fabulous. 
And on this grand opening day, there's been much celebration, arts and crafts, tons and tons of activities, and even characters like Curious George himself. Curious George himself have come down here. Yeah, Curious, can I get a hug? Can I get a hug, Curious? Thank you. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Hi, I'm Ben Mogadichin with Curious George, and uh, thank you for watching.